What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're back for race two of the Chicken Bone Alley Winter Nationals. Starting to sound like he's eating. Thirsty. Yeah. There you go. How's it feel out there tonight? Yep, looking like uh, you are fifth fastest right now with a fast lap of 17.031. Right now, Josh Dietz is out front. Fast lap of 16.850. Got our buddy Will Harrington in here tonight. Crate Racing Lake Model. Crate Racing USA. Late model champion for 2020. He's in here with us tonight, hanging out. Gonna get some racing in. He's second with a fast lap of 16.984. Jay Zarpata, 17.001. So this uh, right now stacking up to be pretty tight. Alright, we were talking to Sterling the whole time. Couldn't even hear him on there, so, uh. <laughs> so, tell us again. How's the car feel out there, real quick? Why you got a couple right. seconds left? Perhaps. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, right, so. Slick. Track is slick. I think it's gonna get a little tighter, though, um, as it turns night here. But, uh, we're gonna qualify and see what happens. Yes, I'm sorry. See if we can't get a decent starting spot. I think you can do it. I think you can do it. Looks like you uh doing all right with them out there. It's a pretty tight field. Yeah, definitely a tight field. Um, throw a blanket over the top. Well, three, four, five, six or so there for sure. So, Tim, I'm just gonna say um, you get you getting some hate on here. I don't know what's going on. Little well, team there. Killed my second lap. Well, the first lap was pretty good. Six, so. well, let's see. Maybe that'll be a top five, I hope. Top, top five, good. top six. Looking pretty good. Showing you got a 17.077 on our screen. B tips, Greg Molyneux got him a 17.085. Josh Dietz has jumped up to the top of the board with a 16.925. Thank you. 
Oh, Will's waiting. He, he's uh, he's gonna wait to the last minute and go go uh, <laughs> go qualify. We got a few left to qualify out here. Will turn a seventeen oh thirty five. That moves Will Harrington up to second place, going into the heats. Like everybody slowed down about a half a tenth, looks like pretty, pretty close. Yeah, it seems like to me the racing I did on this track seemed like your fast laps was about you know three or four, maybe even five laps into it. Yeah, yeah, it really seems that way. Get some heat, built tires, and it definitely makes a difference. How about old Kale Maben turned a 17.097 in practice, Bo? Did he? Yeah. I didn't even see that. Kale likes this uh, asphalt stuff. It was 11th fastest in practice with the 17.097. I turned a 17.03, so. <laughs> All right, we got a little break here. Before the uh, heats get going, uh, the only person left not taking a qualifying time yet is Ashley Tackett, and I know she was having some computer issues. I'm hopefully hoping she'll have that back up here real shortly to get into race. So uh, everybody else looks like they've taken time. So it looks like Josh Dietz is going to be on the got a fast time for tonight with a sixteen nine twenty five. Will Harrington. Second fast with a 17.035. Sterling picking up where he left off last week. Third with a 17.077. Zach Stroop, fourth, 17.085. Greg Molyneux rounds out the top five with a 17.085. Twin times there, fourth and fifth. Right, well, we're going to go have a quick driver's meeting, and uh, we'll be back.
All right, coming up for heat one here. Sterling starting on the outside pole on this one. Josh Dietz on the pole for this first heat. Greg Molyneux, these tips. I'm not your top three starters there. Hey y'all, let me go to roll, watch the heat car. I had to run away and my son was in here. Now the wheel won't center. I don't know if it's gonna go. Uh oh. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Oh, it's Jack. This is Jack to the left right now. Let's see what it does when it takes off. All right, rolling off for the heat one of two tonight. Good hold to get down to break my lead. Moves up to the second spot. And looks pretty good and settled throughout the field. Four, Josh Deets still your leader. Greg Molyneux, second. Sterling, hanging there in third, still in the transfer position. Hanging on that last transfer position. 55 of Dustin in the end of the row. Six cars around. It's James Parrish. 18 car. Off the back straight away there.
They're the ones thinking about it. Nah, it feels pretty good right now. Um, just trying to be smooth. I ain't trying to kill it. Got a little cushion here to fall, so looks like I can just hang in there. We can make the transfer. So just trying to just be cool a little bit. And, um, they uh, they look like they're pretty much pretty equal, really. I mean, I I can push the car and get a little more out of it, but there's no need right now. But uh, it's gonna yeah. be a good little tight race, I believe. You and Greg run almost identical laps there, so you're on the last lap. Going to the checker, it looks like. Josh Dietz going to take win in a heat one. Greg Molyneux second. Sterling gets third. Dustin Indro is fourth. That is your transfer positions. Going straight to the main. All right, glad I made it. Made it. You made it. You made it. I've, I've transferred. <laughs> There's something about finishing third, bro. Hey. I finished third in my heat. I finished third in the race. And I finished third in this race. There. Hey, it's all that matters. As long as you, uh, you're transferring every time. You're going third place in the death all year. Consistency, bro. That is the key. That is the key. All right, looks like Will Harrington starting on the pole in this one. Zach Stroop second. Jay Zarpata third. And Tim Paradiso is fourth. And last week's winner, Cold Mint, starting fifth in this heat. Let's see if he can come make it two for two or somebody else going to get it this week. Oh, Will Harrington's gonna be gonna be tough. He he was he looked really good and smooth uh, in practice. I rode by him for a little while, and uh, he gonna be pretty tough. Seems consistent. Like yeah. He knows a little bit about driving. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> this was like the SRI heat right here. Second, what? Second, fourth, and sixth star spots. Yep. All right, Green flag. We're here to get up to the clear second place. Is that true? Second. Wheel running on the apron. He's almost grass on there. He's a dirt driver, so you know he might like it in the dirt down there. He, he does. I do believe so. Zach Stroop's hanging tough though. There in second, right there on his bumper. Thirty-two. About two car leaps back. Forty-five. Or a transfer is four, or uh oh, Will Harrington oh, just spun Will it out. Oh, Will just spun it in front of the field. First, second place man is out. Zarpata is taking over the lead in the 32 car. Your admin in here tonight, Tim Paradiso, he is second. Followed by last week's winner, Cole DeMint. Back through. Got it back, up. Got it back in fourth. So he is still, still hanging in there in the transfer. 
second place man got loose right there. He, he just laid. He saved it. Who that was? 45 car. That was team. Okay. Yeah, he saved it. Flag lap. 32 car looks like he's going to come around and take this checker flag. Leads our pot of 10 pair disso. Second, Cole DeMint third, and Zach Stroop will make it on the transfer. Will Harrington ends up back in seventh place after leading that one starting on pole. He is going to have to go to the B main there. Everyone will transfer through the B main, but going to line up where everybody starts. Well, you probably can look for him to come from the rear of that, well, mid-pack or whatever that, of that be main. And Let's uh, see. it'll be a little exciting watching him for sure. Yeah, it's mid-pack. Puts him in sixth place. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. He's going to be uh, coming up through there. So like we got the 418 of Tyler Lagard on the pole for this B main and Miss Ashley Tackett starting. Second she was close to transfer there. That was yeah, pretty she, cool. She was pretty close. Starting second, Levi Morris. Starting third, Michael Doby fourth. Jace Parrish fifth. And then, like I said, Will Harrington will start sixth. Raymond Thies. Seventh, uh, Kale maybe an eighth. Number 18, Luke Benik. Starting ninth, Barry Pullen starting tenth. This, this uh, cost is 15 laps, be me. It is 15 laps, that's correct. start there. Yeah, actually, Tackett actually jumped up there to the lead. Oh! Levi oh. spun and straightened Will Harrington. He's back straight, but uh... Yeah. Like, Will's gonna be coming from the back uh, <laughs> of the main, that's for sure. He's uh... He's catching some devil there. Sure he is.
to actually attack it. Still out in the lead. Pretty good at lap times. Michael Doobie. sure is, figured out something. That is for sure. Michael Doobie second. Jace Parrish third. Tyler Lugard back to fourth. Kale Maven has made it up to fifth. I think Kale. anybody needs to stick to asphalt for a little while. Kale's a dirt guy. And that's how we know him, but he'll tell you asphalt for getting there. But I'll tell you what, he sure seems to get around it fairly decent. Yeah, he does. Will Harrington back to seventh. I think his car is a little messed up at this point. Here at halfway in this race. He may be. All right, Ash Taggart still out in the lead here on the white flag lap. Michael Dovey second. Tyler Lagarde third. Levi Morris fourth. Will Harrington made it up to fifth. Yeah, they finished. Yeah, he was coming back there pretty good. Our buddy Kale was running. Made it all the way up to fourth himself, and he spun it. So he... Sorry, he looked pretty good though. I think he's gonna be uh be all right in the main. Well, there's the fireworks, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to get this main started. Everybody, see. All right, Josh Dietz will be on your pole. Followed by Jay Zarpata. As you see, everybody, there was zero invert this week. Drew a big zero Sorry, out there.
Greg Molyneux's third. Tim Paradiso fourth. We're going to start in fifth. You ready for it? Yeah, we're going to see what happens, man. Try to stay out of trouble here. Log some laps a little while. Last week's winter cold event is sixth. These trucks pulling off. Green flag. Josh Deet's got a pretty good start there. Greg Molyneux right on his bumper. Come on, can I make it through one turn without getting wrecked? I agree. Well, you the one that spun out. Caution, caution, caution. I got rooted. Any comments there, bud? Caution's out. Do y'all know what a break <sighs> is? Sex, you drove through me on the start. We're starting at the back, but let's have a look. Ask him uh, who it was. I know they... Who's talking? Green flag, green flag, green flag. All right, green's back out. See if we can make a few more laps here. Josh needs to your leader. Oh, by green. Jay Zarpata in third. She had a black flyway. They got to knock out. I don't know who that was. Caution. Caution that. Yeah, but I'll leave this one on you if you want to stay out, we'll stay out. Oh my god, this is going to take forever. You know that.
All right, here we come back to green. Josh Deets, still your leader. I'm on the bottom of the left here, guys. God damn. I'm on the inside, 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 guys, inside. I just come out of the pit. Y'all go, I'll get the wave around. Go, go, go. He's taking the lead. Greg Molyneux in his second. He's off out of third. Tim Perry just said he's fourth right now. Cold event is fifth. Sterling is sixth right now. A couple outside starts. Messing you up there, Sterling. Yeah, it's hard to get down. Very hard to get down. And I ain't trying to pinch nobody on lap five, so. Laps in here. About five laps here. Sign of good things to come. Back here at Sterling's car, see what he's got going on. Looking at him. Down like a good line. Yeah, it's getting tighter, that's for sure. Kind of lighting a little bit of sun out. <laughs> <laughs> Freed up a bit. The sun goes down, changes track up. Kind of why we want to do it. You know, just to Add another layer to the race. Good way to get car here. Forward look at the top five. Point for race. I just log some laps. Yeah, yeah, I'm running four. Caution, I don't know what happened. Caution. Been a caution. 17 looked like it stopped down turn three. And guess what? I'm gonna be starting on the outside again. <laughs> Can I get a wave around please? All right, a little like that caution was on the 17 car. Actually, tag it, something happened to her going down the back straight away. She was stopped there in the corner. What's going on? Yeah, I don't know what happened. She uh, she had a great uh, B main there. Um, dominated that, was killing them, and uh, didn't didn't have a didn't get going there too good in the in the main. So I'm not sure what happened to her. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. It miss.
Last week's winner. Old Mint looks like he's making some progress up through the field. Coming on up, looks like he's running. Fourth. Hey, I just got a Fourth. question. I picked one time for crash repair, crash repair, and it took both my sets of tires. It says I have no tires. Did he go down pit road twice? I hate starting on the top. Just lost two more spots there. It's tough to get rolling there on top for sure. Definitely get D on the bottom. That's the, that's the I mean, it's just a freight train right now. That's all it is. Lap 20 of 100 laps. Got a real low line. Dude. Yeah, I don't know how it gets off going. like that. It seems to make it work. Got under there. Woo! Easy! Easy! Oh, good save, good save, good save. There's a big arc in the corner there. Yeah, I got loose on entry big time. Our buddy Tim has made it up to second place. Let's see if he's got anything for Josh Dietz up there. It's like he's in the class of the field right now, but their times are still real close. Real, real close. Think at the end of this race, if you get some long green flag, it's going to come down to be a tire management game. I think it's that for sure, and I think it's where you start because this three restarts on the outside has killed my momentum. It's very hard to, uh, all right. Well, I'm ninth, so I'll, at least I'll start. All right, got some back up. save there. <laughs> Yeah, I was yeah, using all
All right, Matt Green. Josh looks like he's out for me. Zach Stroops made it back up to second place. Little gaggle, third there. Sterling's right in the midst of. See, y'all just went three wide through there. It is possible. It is possible. Will Harrington has uh, made a big drive from the rear of the field. He's up to fourth place at this point. Got a caution back out. Sterling be back on the outside. Jesus. All right, I think we got well, we got two degrees, Sterling. Yep, coming to one here. One now. here. Josh Beats still your leader. He's pretty much led this thing the whole way. We've had a, had a few longer runs. Well, I say it's a little better than last week. A little better. So far. I think the more laps everybody's getting, the better it gets. Right, but Josh Deep still your leader. Zach Stroop is in second. The 
throw a blanket over us right now for sure. Yeah, whole, you know, about top eight, so it's just freight train right now. Fifteen laps to go to this halfway caution. Almost take the throw another caution. Twenty-one of Greg Molly taking dive there look like he might move into second place there is a, this is a teammate there is actually cold a minute just spun it by himself right in front of me cold a minute is round out of two bringing out what is that six car doing We are on lap 37 now of 100 to a halfway caution at 50, even though we've had a few cautions, but we're still going to have one more, and maybe that'll seem like a good time for some guys to get some tires, but as we, many cautions as we've had, might not. Who knows? Yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and take some, and uh, then hopefully if the remainder of the race goes like this, then I'll probably stay in that same set for the last half. seems like the strategy I probably would play. I mean, unless you spin or something or just really start abusing the tires, don't really see that much other reason to get them. Right. I'd love to see a good run. Last 50 laps of this race, just go green. And be nice. Yeah, it would. I'd like to see how it plays out once people start tightening up, the tires start wearing. That would really be a, a good race. Strong run from the back. Fourth place now. Starting right there behind him. Oh, falling Cooper. <laughs> I'm hoping. I hope I can get falling to the bottom. Just beats bringing him down real slow. Fanned out up top. Dirt track style start there. Still out front. Zach Stroop is right on his bumper. Atta boy. Atta boy. Oh my goodness gracious. Caution's back out.
Alright, that green. Got a different leader up there, Greg Molly. Taking the lead. On the nine of Josh Deeds. First time in the whole race. Blackstreet in third. Josh Deeds takes a dive though. Gonna make pass back for the lead. Twenty-five. Go to the bottom if you want to go back, Jay. I am just riding. Thank you, bud. Will Harrington's made his way all the way up to third place. Yeah, he is rolling. He knows how to pick them off. That's for sure. Through here. If anybody's got anything for Josh Deeds, it might be Will Harrington, which is really funny because them two have raced together actually on the real track floor in some dirt races. Both of them, both of them are great bike models. But, who's going to do that? I'm going to have to get through Sack Street there. 21 of Greg Molyneux ain't giving, it, giving up. Thank you, Fifth Star. Coming up at lap 60, I mean 50, I'm sorry, I'm not 60, 50. Just a few more laps. Got some good racing going now. Coming to lap 50 here. Josh is making the way out of four. Coming to lap 50, we should be seeing the caution here any second now. We're halfway. There's the caution. Josh, you got us there, buddy. What's up? I got you on the, on the Twitch on the live here. Talk to you real quick for a second. Uh, looked like you uh, pretty much dominated that first half. What do you think about it? Yeah, well, I was just trying to keep tires on her. Uh, it's a long race. Didn't want to tear up the car. Uh, I think everybody's pitting for A lot of guys pit for tires. I only fell off like two, three. I haven't fell off that much. I know the tracks kind of got worn in, so... Uh, I just thought the track position might be worth a little bit more than the tires, but I guess we'll see. 
right here, Derek, because it looks real hard to pass up there. And I said, well, looks like there's nothing to do on them outside, especially them outside the starting spot. Yeah, that's what I noticed, and uh, I've kind of kind of take it easy on them. I haven't really pushed it that t that hard yet, uh, so I don't know if the track slowed down a little bit. I know I've slowed down a little bit, but I don't think it's as much as, the, as the, what I was expecting when we started. Just look to you, and uh, we might be talking yeah, to you here in another fifty time. laps. Good deal. Sterling gets to try that outside the line one more time. We need to look at the 418 by, but uh, I know my system keeps telling me what the 418 by. All right, we're back green here. Same here, yes. uh, me and uh, 11 both have black flags, and he cleared. Can't do it now there, bud. Wait a little late. Zach Stroop, second. Why do I have a black flag?
bag green. I speak still more. Barrington will start in second, but it was like 21. Great Molly. Jesus. Second. Oh, <sighs> Second, Bill Harrington, third, Jay's up out of the floor, Sterling's made it back to the field. Told me up after an earlier spin has made it to sixth. Get some laps under a belt here. Mercy, bro.
Well, in a little turn of events, there is caution. Josh Deeks decided to go in and uh, get some tires. Yeah, and who does that hurt? That's <laughs> that put Sterling on that side. Let me start him forth again. All right, lights out on the pace truck here, the 21 of Greg Molyneux. Starting on the pole this time, so Josh Deets decided to take tires. Will Harrington starting on the outside. Sterling also starting on the outside. Here we go, Greg. Oh my lord, Jesus. Did he enter a closed pit? All right. I don't know if he did or not. Will Harrington went into the pits here out of, uh, I think he was running second, wasn't he? Second or third. He going to get his yeah, tires. So him, and, him and Josh Dietz both going to be at the back. Coming up through there. Lights are out on the pace truck. Let's try this again. About 57 out of 100. I said on the uh, Twitch stream, if you count caution laps, this race will be over. 
Yes, I correct. concur. <laughs> you are correct. Alright, green mountain. Out front, Sterling, 21 uh, Can you erase a black flag? I said I passed the pace car and I ain't even close to it. Alright, Graham Avenue is putting up a pretty sizable lead. And our only other lead is going to be Josh Deets tonight. Josh has made it all the way back up to the seventh position, looks like. Will Harrington's made up the 12th. Let's watch Josh Deets and see how he's horrible way through the field there. Said he thought track position was key, but he didn't change his mind on that. Kale stopped in front of the field there. Here we go. Base. Josh. Out. Josh is start. He's right behind me there on the inside. So he's going to be uh, coming pretty hard. So I'm pretty much screwed for the inside for a little while here. Josh is starting to sit there. Greg Mavenu is doing lead. We jump on the field that time. Ooh, we got some more. So he's Last week's winner, Cole DeMint, back up to second. Looking like he wants to try to make a run for the lead here. 
I think he's been the luckiest person for his restarts the whole daggone night. <laughs> That's kind of what happened with him last week. I mean, I guess it's one of the things in order to finish first, first you must finish. First beats back up to third. Like Cole's got a run on the inside here. Josh is even taking a run to the inside of him. Maldonado's got drop kick from the lead. Looks like he's going to fall in maybe fourth place. Josh Deets going for the lead. Never told him yet. He's fast, like ain't no doubt about that. Bill Harrington making his way through the field, too. Looks like he's taking the fifth spot away. Zach Stroop looks strong, too. He's following Josh right through there. Well, I lost four spots on the restart, so yay me. <laughs> they good. Well, we get some green flag laps. Maybe you can get it back. All right, coming to the line here, we will be on lap 70, so 30 to go. Clean and green right now. Good single file. It's hard to pass. Jesus is hard to pass. I mean, Josh obviously made it look easy, but <laughs> I can't pass. Look at fresher tires, I guess, coming up through there. But he's strong. No doubt about it, he's strong. and just spun out of four.
All right, coming to one to green here. Gosh, Deeks made it exciting for a minute. Throwing it all the way back up through the field. Which from last, straight first. Zach Stroop will start on his outside here. Old Mint third. Uh, Michael Doby, that's one we haven't talked about a whole lot tonight. He's made his way up there to four spot. Green is out. Let's see if I keep that in there. Take him a start. That's true. Right on his bumper, though. Got a new spin off the forward air. No caution. It keeps going. Quick with Josh Deet, see what he sees out of the front of his car while he's leaving. You see Josh leading the legend car race, so it ain't, it, it, it ain't real far fetched. Few years ago, he was on the legend cars over there. He's a little bit transferred over here, but he's a good driver on my racing. Yeah, he really is. quick that's for sure Will Harrington is coming fast I'm yeah. trying to stay in front of him so I can get a fifth place restart <laughs> it's like 21 of Greg Molyneux falling back to the field. he took tires just oh he took ago. tires okay I missed that I'm sorry the wheels made it back up the seat right there behind Sterling Watch him for a minute. Like he's trying everything he can to get on Sterling there. I'm about to let him by so I can drop in behind him before the other dude catches him. Sterling. Ooh, he drove it in there, didn't he, boy? He, he was taking that spot. <laughs> oh, easy, 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 easy. Good save, good save, good save, good save. Good save. It's loose up there, boy. You don't want to be on the top. I ain't had nothing for these boys today, that's for sure. Man. I don't see how they run it so fast. That's why we're glad it's not a one race season. We uh take eight races and get the best out of that. We are on lap 87, now 88 of 100. Got 12 to go here, it looks like. Josh Dietz still out front. Zach Stroop second. Running third there. You got a car length advantage over James Arpada. 
Working lap 90 here. Greg Molyneux. Going high, guys. I'm going high, y'all. Greg Molyneux made his way back up to fifth. Taking tires. Looks like he's going to go to work on that fourth place there. Talk about this man go Will Harrington in the sixth. Third one's back there in seventh place. A little battle from the 55 of Dustin Endurl. Mike's Michael Bobby. SRI driver. My buddy Tim Paradiso. Levi Morris is 11th. Barry Pullins, 12th. Raymond Thies. Pretty much rounds out what is left riding in the field right now in 13th. Back up to your leader here with six to go, looks like. Six of 100, Josh Deeks still out in the lead. Looking pretty good. Greg Molyneux made his way all the way back up to second. Good drive for him. He is actually gaining on Josh, but I just do not think he's got enough time here. Coming to the lap 99. Josh Deeks to your leader. Greg Molyneux closing in in the 21. Pretty quick on him. He is within about four car lengths now. Maybe five on the corner. Running about two tenths a lap faster, but I just don't think that's enough here. Coming to the white flag this time. Josh Deeks takes a white flag. Greg Molyneux driving it hard to try to catch it with him. He's closing in by another car length. Three. Beef tips there. Drove it hard. Two, three, and four. Josh Deets takes the win. Followed by Greg Mullen and Zach Stroop. Cold Mint, Jay Zarpato, Will Harrington, six. Sterling got seventh. Dustin Endero, eighth. Tim Perdiso, ninth. Michael Doby.
All right, here with the winner, Josh Dietz. Josh, that was a good run, man. Uh, I know you said uh, you thought track position was key there, and then uh, you went into the tires after halfway. What, what, what went through thought process that process there? Well, I was wrong. <laughs> we had the lead, and uh, uh, there was way faster behind me. I was kind of, I knew I was holding them up, and I was just doing everything I could to keep them behind me. And um, next caution came out. I said, I need to take tires now, and it's probably going to be my only chance because I got a lot of ground to make up. And uh, apparently, new tires makes your car turn, so that's good. I'm going to tell you what, it sure looked fast coming through there, and uh, good job, Knight. Uh, look good. Yeah, I did my best to keep my car clean. You know, I didn't have any incidents the entire race. I just figured it was going to be survival. Stay in the front, keep the nose on it, and uh, try to keep the tires on when you can. All right. Well, congratulations again, buddy. Thank you. All right. Second place. 21 car. Man, that was on a roll there at the end. B tips, Greg Bonu. What's going on, yes, man? That was a good run there coming up at the end. Yeah, I ran good. Uh, I pitted. Uh, I got into it with the 14 a little bit, and I pitted. I was like, well, either I could uh, go back to fifth or try to get up there. So, car ran good. Well, that sure looked good and looked like you was uh, cutting through them on a track that was really hard to pass on. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't too bad with fresh tires. You could definitely just uh, pinch them, you know, pinch down in the corner there. But, uh yeah, it was good. I don't think I had anything for the leader, though. If Kosh come out, it had been all right, but it was a good race, better than last week. Not a lot of cautions, and uh, it was fun. Cool deal, buddy. Well, good job, and congratulations on the second place. Thanks, man. All right, Zach Stroop there in the 281 car. Man, good third place finish. What, tell us about it. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I told myself if the caution come out was uh, 20 to go or more, I was going to fit for that second set. But, oh, well, burnt my right front trying to catch Josh and uh, had to let beef tips go. But uh, other than that, it wasn't too bad. Well, other than that last uh, run there, it looked like you, you were one of the few that looked like you had something for Josh on them restarts a couple times. It uh, looked like you could stay right there with him. Yeah, I think uh, I tried too hard to keep up. A couple times burnt my stuff up, but uh, yeah, no, I mean, we were good on short runs. I could follow him and pick up where he was messing up just a little bit. But, oh, well, take third and move on to the next one. There we go. Well, cool deal, buddy. Well, we sure do appreciate it, and uh, we will be seeing you next week. Sounds good, man. Appreciate it. All right, there is week two of the Chicken Bone Alley Winter Nationals. So, what, what? Tell us about your race there, Sturm. Starting on the outside sucks. That's what I got to say. <laughs> I figured that. I figured that. I think I burnt my stuff up just from trying to fight so hard to get down the whole race. Yeah. When you're on that outside, it's, it ain't handling great. It's, it's easy to burn it up. Yeah. Well, absolutely. Well, looking forward to next week. We got, uh, where are we at? Are we are we at your favorite track next week? I think we have Evolution next week. Street stocks, dirt street stocks. That's right. We go on dirt street stock racing at Volusia. That's one of Sterling's favorite uh favorite deals there. Yeah, I like I like Volusia. We I mean I really wanted to run. You know we we chose the pro late model to pro late models to run at Charlotte. Um, but you know I'm I I like Volusia. I like pro late models at Volusia, but. Uh, street stars say street stocks aren't too bad there, so uh, we'll go there next week and see how everybody does on dirt again. Um, I think it's gonna be a little more hectic, <laughs> a little more, uh, not not as much give and take there, uh, just because it's just a little more difficult to get around there. But um, I will like the fact that you can pass uh, this, this for whatever reason, I, you know. David, me and you, we went all over all these tracks trying to pick tracks that we could pass on and, and run too wide and clean. And, um, man, it was hard to do that tonight. I don't know what happened um, because last time we ran here, we could run too wide, no problem. And the, the top groove was relatively just as fast as the bottom. Yeah, it really was. And 
But I guess that's part of racing. It, it, these racetracks change, and that's what's cool about how our racing is set up. Now, used to, it was the exact same every time, every single time. And this time, it seems like uh, seems like it, it it's, you know, with new updates and stuff, and they might, that might have something to do with it, but it seems like the tracks are a little bit different every time you go to them. Yeah, they have been, and um, I like that. Like you say, I like having to, you know, people can't just sit there and practice, 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 and they know what they're going to have because, you know, I ran some private sessions, three or four of them in the past day, and every single one of them was different with the dynamic weather. So it makes a big difference, and uh, it makes it interesting for sure. Cool deal. Well, we appreciate all y'all coming on here and watching and hanging out with us tonight. Appreciate all the drivers coming out. Also, thank you to, again, as we always say, Power Metal Machine and Fabrication coming on this year, uh, helping us out with this series. Uh, SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel and Aluminum. Uh, Ford Bite, Ford Bite Apparel. Y'all check them out. Appreciate them coming on, helping us out. Also, Checkered, the new racing social media. Y'all go check them out. So, uh, Anyway, we appreciate all y'all watching, and uh, we will see y'all again next week on here on iRacing, but be sure to check us out. A uh, new episode of Chicken Bone Alley will be out bright and early Thursday morning. So, yes, sir. So y'all be ready for it, and we'll be talking with you. Later.